fairing the duties off great. So, just finished meditating. Uh, difficult today, again. Uh, it was interesting the fact that, well, let's start with, uh, off the good. That's usually always a, a great place to start. I'm noticing that I'm calmer now. My brain, my mind isn't as scattered. Um, usually I have to bring myself back to Zen, which is always the case, but I'm not as hard on myself. Uh, but I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's more quieter up there, which <laughs> hopefully means that I'm finding Zen and, uh, and not that I'm uh, not thinking. Um, but the breathing techniques didn't go the way I planned. I know it when I can do a good set of push-ups. And I've, today and yesterday I got 20-something, right? I will highlight that. I actually stayed true to uh, my meditation on the weekend, which was a big plus for me, even when I woke up, um, just whenever I woke up on Sunday. So that was really good. Um, it was a bit of a letdown to know that my breathing techniques went bad, but I guess kind of a good thing at the end of my actual meditation to know that I'm quieter, or I'm not, let's say, the voice inside my head when I do space out, when I do think of other things, isn't like, oh shit, I gotta get back to Q, right? I gotta get back to my center. It's more like, oh, let me get back there, or oh, let me start my breathing again. I usually breathe in, noticing my my breaths are long and slow and drawn out. And usually, again, by the time I get to the fifth breath or fourth breath, I'm thinking about something else, and I have to recount. And it's not like, oh, man, I have to recount, but it's more like a, hmm, should I just keep counting, or should I start back at zero? And I just start back at zero. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I should keep counting, but... I'll just go right back down to zero, see if I can make it all the way up to ten. So, yeah, you could, you could say I didn't really get that desired effect, like the high I'm always looking for. But if I'm always searching for that high, then I'm always going to be continuing to let down. Uh, I should probably just go for the experience, the day by day, the sticking to a regimen. It's hard, and at times I feel that's not worth it like why bother doing these breathing techniques why bother doing all this stuff uh, why don't I just go to meditation make it easier and then I think back to my let's say actual training my physical training right uh, would I skip the warm up would I skip stuff yeah I used to and then I saw what happened or back hurt and all sorts of things so I started doing more yoga I started putting more time into myself, started putting more time into recovery, and I feel better. My back doesn't feel as broken anymore. And so I, I think that if I can take the same approach with not just my mind, but with my being, right? I want to say my mind and heart, heart, uh, but my soul, I don't know if that's a good word, um, my my being one is I just said just use but I don't know what it is the word I exactly want to uh, use but if I could find a good place to find uh, myself at Zen myself at at something I might might be able to not be as stressed not be as confused not be as hurt not be as sad not be I mean, I would love to be happy. I'm not going to say not be as happy. But if I could find a way to train this and this, I might be able to find a way to be at peace. And maybe find a way to find clarity in exactly what it is I want in life. Thoughts.